channel I am the Ink Northerner and this is my roundup of this week I've been mostly playing so it occurred to me that um, I haven't actually shown I've been saying I've completed things but I haven't actually shown the gamer score on my, um, on my achievements list so I thought well I'll start off with showing from the start of where, where I began and, and worked through so I think Tracks was the first game I started with the thousand out of fifteen hundred is the main game the 500 extra is from uh, DLC, then we've got Subnautica at 100%, um, there are some games that are hidden, we have What Remains of Edith Finch, Untitled Goose Game at 57%, Wonder Song at 100%, The Gardens Between at 100% and Fractured Minds at 100%, I was then also playing some Lego Harry Potter as I've shown from videos before, um, I did The Tourist, there's two achievements I'm missing from that. I played some Dave the Tentacle and Grim Fandango Remastered, sorry, Full Throttle Remastered. I didn't play Grim Fandango. I then played the excellent Enslaved with an amazing storyline. Um, and then there were a few games that I, I carried on playing. So I, I started playing some more of the Lego stuff. Um, as you can see, 100% is Lego, Marvel Super Heroes, and Batman Beyond, uh, Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I'm in the process of doing some of the other um, Lego games. Crack Planet Coaster on when I first got my um, Series X. And then we have The Walking Dead first season and Walking Dead season two from this week's challenge. Now unfortunately, I um, I, I chose to, to do four story driven games. They're quite long uh, and unfortunately I only managed to get through um, the Walking Dead season one and season two. Now I, I was planning on doing New Frontier and Michonne, but um, that didn't extend to that. I'm afraid. Um, so from the <coughs> whilst I uh, I stick some uh, whilst I stick some uh, gaming video on from me playing Tony Hawks. I will talk about the four games that I was going to play. You can see me playing Tony Hawk's very badly in a second as well. Um, so, I, as I say, I was going to play the four Walking Dead games that are on the um, Xbox Game Pass. I managed to get through two of them. Um, they're quite long games, really. Uh, and, uh, and as I say, I got, I got through two of them um, without any issues. And then... Um, uh, and then, basically... I, I just ran out of time um, so 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 far so I got the 100% on them um, as I say that's, that's pretty much where I'm, I was at this week now what I am going to do is I'm going to give a bit of a brief overview of what I'm going to play this week um, just explain what they're, what they're like and, and take it from there so the first game that I've got on my list to play is Gatto Roboto, which is a Metroid-esque game where you play as a cat who has a robotic suit that you can upgrade to progress in the level, um, much like Metroid was. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it is heavily inspired by Metroid. It's got amazing black and white um, graphic style though as well, which uh, which I'm looking forward to uh, to cracking on with. Second game I'm going to play is Goat Simulator. Now I have a couple of the achievements as you saw from the start of the video for Goat Simulator. Um, sort of sandbox game where you play as a goat with a crazy tongue and you just create havoc and destruction. Um, and more, I think there's about 80 odd achievements for it so you know it may take a while to get through those. We then have um, what looks like a fantastic game by Ninja Theory. Um, Ninja Theory who also did Devil May Cry DMC and Enslaved which I played last week um, and that is Hellblade Shenoa's Sacrifice I think I'm saying that right um, it's a fantasy adventure game set around sort of uh, Nordic stroke Viking stroke Celtic um, mythologies um, it looks like a fantastic game it's been on Game Pass for a while and I, I've been meaning to play it I've downloaded it a few times and just never got round to it so I've decided that this is the time to get it played <coughs> um, and then the final game is going to be Pathologic 2 
which is an adventure game by the Russian studio Ice Pit Watch. It was published by Tiny Build Studios, I think they're called. Um, it's it, it's supposed to be part of a trilogy. Now I've not played the first one, um, so I, I'm hoping that the that the first one's okay as well. Um, I'll probably try and crack that on, but I'm hoping that playing the second one first doesn't affect the storyline. Um, and yeah, that's that's essentially the four games I'm going to be playing for this month. Apologies, the video is pretty short. This is the second time I'm recording it. It didn't record properly first time. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm going to get cracked on with these games and and hopefully um, hopefully get it sorted. Um, all that's left for me to do is. Um, thank you for tuning in and you know if there is anything that you think that you want me to try and get played that's on game pass then let me know if you think i need to do something to change this series then then let me know as well in the comments um hopefully uh, i'll i'll you know we'll, we'll get to uh that you guys enjoy this and um and yeah um i've been the ignoring it and i will catch you on the next one